me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Red Tosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friend? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was expected. Anyway... <laughs> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven performed a little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations in my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly... ...important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit, the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Our farm was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We saw Phil our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. They seemed better now. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Huh. Hold on. I hear something out there. Pain. 
What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. There. Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just putting no on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare mat. Oh. I didn't know it could do that. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member's audience. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanian traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. 
Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division. Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's yes. a light crystal. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No <gasps> sense in spoiling the supplies. No! <laughs> Never seen the Lake of Souls. Aye. Pimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. 
After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, but. Ah! Violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does it sometimes. Ah, curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use elves light to protect the temple. Themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just a foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, you know, we just like to be so I see. By all means, then. Find you! Incoming! Stop up! 